Hello YouTube, this is the first video in our HTML5 Canvas Basics tutorial series. In this video I'm going to be going over the ideas behind Canvas and what it is capable of, as well as showing you some of the ways it's been used. Here I have what is probably one of the best written HTML5 Canvas tutorial series which you should use when you're stuck. Uh, the site has a series of tutorials explaining like basic concepts and then it moves on to more advanced ones and then even it moves into game design or development. Um, it has, as you can see, they give good live examples here, especially in the basics sections that you can edit. So here I can edit this exposition to, and it'll um, update the live example. I'll be linking to a corresponding page for each Canvas tutorial in this in the in the video descriptions. So make sure you check those out if you don't understand a concept that is explained in the video or can't get a piece of code working. So for those of you who don't know what Canvas is, let me explain a little. Um, it's an element that's used to draw graphics via JavaScript, and it is not actually it doesn't actually allow you to draw the graphics itself it's only a container for them you have to use JavaScript to actually draw the graphics um, and it is different from flash or something like that because when you draw it when you draw to the canvas you're not actually drawing you're not creating objects you're just painting onto it and then each time you want to move an object quote unquote object you have to um, clear the screen and then redraw it at its new position. So it's different in that way. Um, but it's very powerful comparatively to Flash. Um, SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics, are a new technology also that came with HTML5, but they're not um, nearly as powerful as Canvas. And I'd say Canvas is about as powerful as Flash in most browsers currently, but not quite powerful enough to do some of the 3D things Flash can do. Um, so back to <laughs> explaining Canvas. It's a drawable region, according to W3 schools, it's a drawable region defined in HTML code with height and width attributes. Uh, it has several methods for drawing paths, boxes, circles, characters, and adding images. All five browsers except Internet Explorer 8 and earlier versions support the canvas element. If you're using Internet Explorer 8 or earlier, you're going to get a blank screen where your canvas should be and an error in the developer console. Um, I guess the next thing I'll explain is the context, which is, the, is what actually draws to the canvas. It's the JavaScript object that has methods and functions that allow you to draw arcs, lines, squares, whatever. Um, there are different types of contexts that you can use based on the browser you're using, but right now you, most browsers can only use 2D due to um, performance and support. It's also a new technology, so it's going to be kind of off and on for a while probably. Uh, the best way to think about the relationship between the canvas and the context is that the canvas is a piece of paper and the context is your pencil. So the paper allows you to draw, but you need the pencil to actually do the drawing. And you do the drawing with JavaScript, and the paper is just an HTML element. Uh, you control the context by telling it where to go within the canvas and what to draw. This can be done with anything from shapes, lines, and fills to images. So let me give you a few examples of HTML5 canvas use. Uh, these are really nicely done, but it's probably not going to show up as very smooth in the video, but I'll include the links in the description so that you can see them on your own screen if you'd like. So this is just a particle animation. Pretty simple. And here is a water simulation. As I click, they fly away from the mouse. And as I don't click, they move towards the mouse. 
and if I smash them up against the wall they bounce kind of but if I don't move the mouse they'll come towards the mouse and then when I click they'll explode here's another one with blobs kind of a cool physics thing and you can split them by clicking double clicking on them and then join them back together by dragging and you get a huge blob if you drag them all together and it's kinda cool it uses the browser as the border okay and then here's one called magnetic this is really cool they rotate around these glowing dots you can create a glowing dot by double clicking and then they kind of orbit like a solar system if I create one out here they'll get dragged to that from over here if I do make it strong enough they start getting sucked out of this one and pulled into that one um, here's another one where they rotate around the mouse as it moves pretty simple and one of my favorites is the canvas tree each time you reload it it randomly generates a tree or what looks like a tree so that's about it for this tutorial and the next one will be drawing rectangles with canvas to get you started kind of um, hopefully that's not too hard just as a beginning tutorial but that's about it for this one uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe